My Gaming Edge. Hello and welcome to My Gaming Edge. I'm Greg and today I will be reviewing a couple of demos from the i43 LAN. This is actually, in actual fact, the lower bracket final to decide who goes into the final and plays Epsilon Esports. This is Infused, e uh, TF Infused TT Esports versus TCM Gaming. And um, this was actually was a best of three with Badlands, Gully and Granary. And I am actually on Badlands at the moment, just reviewing the first map. So hopefully you guys won't have seen it, or if you have, you know how awesome this game was. So I'll let you watch this back and I'm just going to obviously give all my opinions on everything that went wrong or what went right and leave it from there. And now I'm on 956, 55, 54, awesome. So yeah, as, uh, as I was saying, this this is a very, very close game, oh, a very tight game. Everyone, the, the winner of this goes to the final, which is a pretty massive event of the biggest European land for a long time anyway. And I, I'm still playing Bally in this game, so I just go through, try and do a bit of damage, and absolutely get rinsed. Not very good there. I think they predicted me doing that, some good spotting, I think, from coins, and I just wasn't paying attention. So, as a few of you might have seen before when I watched... Uh, on my previous Badlands demo from a while ago. Um, yeah, I play Valley for our team, or used to, I don't anymore actually. Um, and try and peek through Shithouse and try and do that like first damage shot on the scout just to get him a bit scared. Then fall under, see what I can do and try and get up their ramp or just depends what's happening with their aggression and stuff like that. So obviously we managed to keep our medic alive. So we're just regrouping, get everyone, getting everyone together. Just trying to find out where the other team are. Um, their medic actually died at middle, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not I, I don't take my word for that, so I don't didn't notice it enough to, to, to say that. And uh, actually Penn had jumped in I think trying to force our Uber. We did just Uber there out of house and we should just cap this middle. We've got a player advantage and Seb just jumps in really, really aggressively, actually gets us a demo man kill there. Um, so of course bite coming in there we needed to help our demo out and get the bite of the kill onto the demo of their team which actually opens it up for us really really easy push now and Flisco stuck out there on his own no, no support easy kill as well and the Spire goes our way so after losing middle we now have control of Spire and we'll be trying to work out our push into bottom lobby although scout on our medic flushy actually gets that kill so but at the moment so if you're in this situation you're just trying to find out where the other team are because a lot of teams do hold forward in lobby so um, if they've been in lobby there I'd just try to slowly try to work my way and try to find out what's going on I didn't actually spot their team there so I was just like huh where are they can I get on last but that soldier came out they do have uber and we don't at the moment after our uber at middle so we're just kind of waiting and we're just faking and stuff like that TCM don't really want to push out so they're just literally holding and as usual as a scout, you do want to be watching the bottom right, you don't want another scout to be flanking, you also want the opportunity to try and push through there, uh, if you can, or sneak through there. So we did Uber in and we actually managed to get a pick out of it, so definitely going to want to push, and luckily I didn't die there, pretty poor aiming, but we, our team is definitely looking to push after that, after that pick, and... I don't really know why we haven't gone in harder than that, so I ended up just dying. I'm just probably not listening hard enough. Don't forget, this is at land, guys, so everything is really, really loud and what's going on here. So um, it's quite hard to communicate with each other sometimes. And we did, Mike just went in and got their medic, so now we have a uber advantage again. So we're just literally just going to try and hold on to the spire and do, do get up and try and block this, so... And just got to keep our medic alive really but there's Quinn going down so I don't actually know what uh, Uber we're at I'm afraid so well I think we're gonna have it in a few minutes I'm just calling where the where the enemy team are those two players are, and I literally took some shots and then fell back and the, assuming they'll go for our medic what's the point in chasing them when like if I go drop down and work with my team I'm more likely to get the frags so just clearing for stickies they're actually in the other the other little yeah so I was just checking for them and we've Ubered in with an Uber advantage and lost a player instead of any frags. I don't, pretty poor Uber there, but we do go in and get anti and bite in the end. So two pretty crucial picks. I'm just trying to distract the team, trying to help out, get some spam onto the point. And in actual fact here, if Quinn had run onto the point, I think now we would have just capped, but he's pissing about with his pistol on one scout. And we 
instead, so instead we don't actually manage to cap that. So it's a bit of a shame. Pretty poor work on our push, in all honesty. We're, our pushing at the moment is quite bad. We're just going in, not not really working together at all. And uh, it's just this was obviously at land. It's, it is more tense and in this sort of situation. I'm just ninjing for last at the moment. So that that spot I use quite a lot. It's quite a nice little spot for ninjing for last. And now I'm like, oh god, the point's on times two on the point. I've got to go for this. Managed to get the kill and literally with like 0 0.1 seconds left, cap last. So that back cap attempt or ninja spot worked out quite well. But we really should have capped it with an uber with rather than pissing about and wasting our full uber advantage or what I think 30-40% uber advantage. So we're going back to middle yet again here. And I don't actually want to go through shit house because I kind of got raped last time. So I'm jumping on. I'm just still trying to do damage to that scout on their train just to stop him from harassing our jumping soldiers and I take quite a lot of damage from that soldier in valley and then fail miserably I remember doing that yeah I'm pretty sure someone tapped me on the shoulder when I was chatting to them good times hey um, so that middle probably should have gone we should have won that but actually Penno and Flisco doing pretty good work for uh, TCM there and my flatmate's just knocked on my door so awesome uh, but I'll, I'll ignore him for now um, so we are now got a massive uber disadvantage, we're pretty much sat at last and they're actually pushing straight in with a demo man, takes a nice headshot straight off the back, I really like that spot, as a few people probably know, it's quite a nice like uh, little spot to snipe from and we actually do a really good job of blocking that, um, all of our teams staying alive, they didn't, they, they were rushing it, we didn't have uber, our medic went down, they just w wanted to push in before spawns and it didn't work out for them at all in we just ended up clearing up, taking an uber advantage. I don't didn't actually notice if we took down anti or not. I don't think we did. So I think they've still got their medic up, and it's a slight uber dis uh, uh, uber disadvantage. Only a slight uber advantage. And this is when I think me and Quinn go quite aggressive here. Oh no, so that's it. Must be a bit later. So we're just obviously just watching the flanks, trying to make sure no scout is going to be flanking our team. Obviously, it's quite. On Spire on this on Badlands, it's quite a nice back cap opportunity for scouts at some point. The likes of Harry Hook and Astan is doing it quite a lot, and Skinny there trying to trying to peek, trying to get in, and we're slowly slowly pushing in here, trying to find our find stickies, trying not to Uber, and we get a really nice kill onto Bite there before our Uber gets popped. Then we trigger, they trigger, and now we're still like players up, players up. Are we? And I'm like, are we gonna fight? Are we gonna fight? Oh, oh, we just lost shitloads. Oh, yeah. So that was a bit bit of a poor after Uber fight from our team there. So we did lose a few minutes. And I literally just tapped that point. But I don't think they noticed if you look what happens. So I get the opportunity to get on anti and get the kill onto the medic. Um, that was literally just me being out of position completely. Um, get Being lucky enough to get that point. And I managed to do, do manage to take the scout down. Get a bit unlucky to taking a soldier. But... I, it was definitely worth me blocking there after taking down the medic. Demo's not even up yet. He's just just got there. Look at that. If I had managed to block the point, that would have been probably a lot better. But as it is, we're back on last. I don't think our team realised that I might have been able to do anything there. I was kind of in a in no man's land and, and just managed to get a couple of frags. So yeah, again, I'm in the sni same sniping spot. I say the same sniping spot. I'm not actually there yet. If you actually look at what I'm doing, I am peeking to main. It's a lot of people go to me why are you doing that and I'm just like oh well I'm spotting what they're doing so now I know they're just about to go down the stairs so I move straight out but if I if I hadn't if I'd seen them at the main I would have moved out as well but it's just nice to know what they were doing and now they've actually critzed in and got a soldier kill and that's it and now I can't really move out on the left door so a lot of people going down to these crits creek I probably shouldn't have been sniper for that long it's my fault and actually we actually do manage to uber get some nice frags and I think we can take this soldier down as well yes I think that's their six, six down on their team so we're just going to push out the main problem here is we don't actually have any scouts so it's quite hard to push by for any team that wants to uh, like practice pushing out on this map not having scouts on that point severely hinders you being able to cap it I mean look at that we have to fall out I'm not even there yet and we have to fall out it's their spawners will always beat you there because by the time you've um cleared everybody up and then started to push out and you get on spire they will be there as such and um, if your scouts are only just spawning they're still going to be another 10 seconds behind you. you've got no cap point on cap time on that point they it makes it a lot 
more obvious for them to come in and block it as such. So it was it's quite a tough decision, but just make sure you've got uh, sc uh, scouts on the point pretty much. Uh, I'm actually pyro here purely because they were crits last round, uh, last medic, and their, their medic didn't actually die, did he? I'm pretty sure their medic didn't die, so we know they've still got crits. We do manage to build our uber, and here they, here comes the crits, and they just uber straight away. I had no idea where that sticky went. I think I air blasted, and something's behind the point, so obviously it's been called, gets taken down. So it's just literally a, a case of uber counters crits, just get the calls and get the kills, and... Um, we now got a massive, massive player advantage. I'm going straight for Spire now. I'm relying on my, the rest of my team to kill that one player behind us. Um, and just getting some time on the point. And this is when Bite just falls back. And I think we, me and Quinn go quite aggressive here. And uh, I'll see if it is it. I, I call the stickies and Quinn runs into them, basically. No, it's not actually this point. So now we've um, still got the Uber. And their medic has started with. you still got Uber's uber as in not got an uber yet but got uber uh, the uber metagun well i can't even think and um we don't know whether they've stayed crits or anything but their medic did die so and i think mike went in to try and force or got caught out somewhere it might have been a random pipe so that's a player down we've now got to just we got charge but we can't really do anything and now i'm just spotting for what what the other team are doing and they're actually going resub so that's pretty much why I was doing that. After Mike went down in the house, we needed someone spotting it. And I knew straight away that they were going resup and actually get a nice little ambush out onto the medic. And then try and save my uh, save Numlocked. I don't actually do a good job. Missed the first two shots, so he dies. Um, but we are just going to clear up the frags here. If I can hit any shots. So uh, that's, we've still just got some nice picks here. And this this is where it is, where I call the stickies for Quinn. Literally, I'm just trying to find them, trying to find them. House, Quinn, bang. And then I get and then I just get a random pipe in my face. That's, we, me and Quinn were being way too, way too aggressive there. And just need to chill out a little bit, wait for your team. We were thinking, I, I mainly I, what I was thinking was that that soldier was in house and um, kind of stuck out of position in house that I might have been able to get a flank onto him. But instead, um, Bite was there and pretty much killed me because of it, because of that. And also, I was just trying to clear stickies. But with Kun going down, or Kun coming in as such, I thought we would be able to do something more out of it. But he went straight down and then I went down. So just uh, take your time when you're pushing out, guys. It's something that we're doing a lot at the moment. We're not doing it right. And we actually get forced there. I, I didn't really know what was happening it, obviously as i repeat at land you can't really hear everyone around you that mu that well there's a lot of screaming going on especially during this match we had about 80 people behind us being very very loud along with ourselves being loud whenever that anything went right so this is something i just want to quickly talk about because I, I i run this quite a lot pyro here okay basically if you don't have uber go pyro it's it, you, there's, if they'd gone main or top right there, I would have literally just blasted the medic back and wasted all their uber. But actually, TCM know that I go pyro. So they actually go bottom left when they have an uber advantage now, literally to counter me. Or just to, so they don't get my reflecting on the medic. So, But if they do go main, literally just wait for the first ju jumping soldier. Whoever they uber out first, let them go. And then get in the medic's face and just blast him back. Basically, what you do is you... A player who thinks he's about to get uber will jump in. And he's not going to be Ubered. He's going to be an easy pick for the rest of your team. And then the medic wastes all eight seconds of his Uber being air blasted back by you. Fair enough, you die. Uh, so, you, well, most of the time you die. So, um, it doesn't work all the time. But literally, at the moment, this mid, so literally, it's really worth doing that if you've got an Uber disadvantage. It wastes so much time. And we've just been like really severely rinsed on this middle. Like, um, I was just trying to call, trying to find out what was going on, trying to support players, but no one really did anything from our team there. We don't didn't have any proper aggression there at all, and we're trying to go out. We've got a, we've got a medic, and they don't, and we try and come out and uh, block the point, but we uber way too late, and uh, we don't manage to get the block on. We could have really blocked that. Excuse me, sorry. So, um, yeah, one thing, if you do, if you've got equal players and your medic's still up, and you fall, you've fallen out, okay, Go back in and try and block the point before they cap it, and then use your Uber. It's, it doesn't matter if you hold on to your Uber as long as you block the point or recap the point. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if you use your Uber, even so. So, 
we actually managed to juggle one player there. Our soldier's doing a good job. And uh, we literally just go straight onto Spire. We've got a player, player advantage. And their medic is nowhere near Uber. Their demo actually gets juggled out there. Really nice work from our team. And I think we actually get a nice push onto last hit. But I'm not 100% on that. So they've got two players fresh down. In my mind, I want to be pushing. And my, I, I don't know whether the team wants to do that. I'm literally just going in now to find out what's, what everyone else wants to do. Just get, just get some time on the point as well, like straight away. But so I went in first there. I, I knew my team was slightly behind. We had two, t the two player advantage as such, no demo. So I was just trying to find out what, what was where, as, so my team could know who to focus or what to do. And I literally just told Seb just to sticky the point, and I'd go on to it. So easy cap. And um, now I'm as usual going in valley. This time I'm not. I'm jumping on yet again. This time, in fact. It's just um, I end up getting killed quite a lot from their shithouse, but I'm just like trying to keep our ramp clear so nothing flanks our medic and should get that scout kill. He's so low. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's just a case of um, trying to keep your own ramp clear if you're doing if you're playing it like that and also pressuring their scout so he can't do that much. But I went in way too aggressively onto bite and I should have just stayed kept myself alive. If I hadn't gone in trying to kill push out bite or uh, get that demo man pick. If I'd been in there getting buffs, I would have been a much better, made it much, much better for my team instead of what I did. Oh, this is we have an uber disadvantage now because Flashy went down, and I try and come out to pick the medic, and I think they see my see me before. Yeah, they've, they see they've seen me already, and now I totally miss the medic coming out because I get spammed by the demo from Spire. Oh, so this is a really, really poor decision in, in all honesty. I'd been sniping quite well at the event, so I thought oh, I'll go for it. But it was a really, really poor decision to do that. But it did get, get us a kill. Don't even know why that happened. So, And now I'm still trying to find see anything to snipe. But namely, trying to find the medic. But now we've lost two players trying to force them. And it's really not going well for us now. So yeah, don't do that, basically. You need your scouts. Me being a fucking idiot. So now we've got another. Oh, we've actually got Uber. So I was going to say Uber with disadvantage. We actually got a player disadvantage. Really, is what's happening here. And um, we're just literally just trying to keep them, keep the pressure up as they're coming in with the player disadvantage. Uh, when they've got a player advantage, and we somehow managed to get two great kills. Great work. Anti going down. By going down. Then coins. We've popped Uber. There's no harm in popping Uber at that point. Their medic's already dead. You're going to still have an equal Uber when he spawns. So, And then you cap Spire back. Really, really nice work. So there's a soldier gone into bottom lobby. Obviously, obviously I'm just calling it. And the demo is always going to jump. So I'm prepared for that. So I'm just letting my team know. And he actually gets taken down. It was well worth it. And now I'm actually just trying to find out where our medic is. Because... So it's just like, what is the rest of our team doing? We've just got a nice cap. They've only just spawned, and for some reason, there's only two of us here. So, just blocking Spire. Of course, we were always going to block from there. So, coin's slightly overextending. I don't, I don't know why he thought he'd be able to cap that. Um, and obviously, just head back towards reset. Make sure nothing's going to be flanking, and just try and get buffed as much as possible. I, if you actually watch in this game, I don't get that many buffs. It's it's quite tough for our team. We well, in our team, we push so aggressively all the time, them off anything, that a lot of the time our medic can't really be healing anybody else other than our demo or soldiers. So I play around with the health packs a lot more than say other teams like Epsilon. So we've just literally got this equal Uber. This is the when we popped there to make sure we got all the frags and make sure we get Spire, now we're back on equal Uber and while we have the momentum because we push forward, um, mid is really, really hard to push into on this map so uh, we're kind of just thinking it's, it's their job to push, I, I think, that's what I would assume and uh, we actually do have, uh, I think we're winning 2-1 at the moment, I'm not 100% on that and we like, I'm just literally spotting house there so I know they're coming through little door, call it straight away, they've, they've multied, we've multied, that soldier surely is going to die, yeah. I was just literally just trying to juggle him, stop him getting away from our players, but nice jump from Mike there. Obviously with uh, him having the rest of the Uber, it was the best person to do that. And now with the player advantage, we're definitely going to be coming into this. And I'm just waiting, for, to, trying to play it slowly, because a lot of the time I do overextend trying to come in and that. 
because I go in before our heavies go in, but in actuality there we get rinsed. Nice sticky chap I think from Bite. And I, I did try a little bush spot there. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but that when I backed into by the toxic is a bush you can hide into. And I was just trying to hide it hide in it, maybe get the medic pick, but or the demo man pick, but skinny swatted me, so and now we're back on equal Ubers, back on our own last again. It's a bit of a frustrating game from our point of view. I think we were on our last quite a lot of this game, but we did do a good job of holding it. Uh, we, I think what the main thing with our holds on last is we're quite disruptive on what the other team are trying to do, especially against the likes of TCM, who run quite set strategies when they push in. So, for example, Mike pushing into main there and doing a lot of damage. Uh, it was really, really useful. Me playing Pyro, those sort of things is what we always do. And they've just forced the Uber and Mike got juggled down really unluckily there. We, we do manage to pick, go soldier for soldier. And now I'm literally just trying to make sure bottom left doesn't have anyone running in, but they've come in top left. So it's just now a case of clearing up the frags as well. How the medic isn't dead yet. Yeah, I probably should have just reloaded my scatter gun. <laughs> I get saved. Awesome. Oh, so, yeah, reload your scatter gun pretty much is the testament to that. I think I was pissed in quite a lot in this at LAN and uh, got told off for it. Was it? Uh, I think it was the granary game of this match when I could have just reloaded my scatter gun and killed like two people, but instead it took me like 30 seconds to kill two people with my pistol. Yeah, it was nice. Oh, so we're back, still holding on last. Um, their medic did die, but. I don't know why we didn't try and push out there. I think we're only going to have like a bit, bit of about 30% advantage. And actually, TCM are trying this like soldier, double soldier bottom left strat that uh, Epsilon and the likes have been doing there with spamming. And it's, they've pretty much got in bottom left pretty easily there and then sticky the point from main. So we, it's not always useful just to have two scouts watching bottom left. You do need a soldier sometimes spamming it or us. You know, you can't, as two scouts, you can't completely keep out. Uh, two soldiers of the medic out bottom left. We did get one kill, but it's still tough. And as you can see there, no one really pressured the demo man pro properly and then didn't notice the fact they were getting on the point. So actually, I choose to go aggressive through shithouse this time. I say aggressive. That is my aggression. It's it's a case of going there, and if nobody's watching or no stickers are there, then I go a bit more aggressive. But uh, if it's... Uh, if it's just a scout there, or a demo literally just sat on the train, if you put your back on the back of that wall, you can just put like an 80 damage shot, 60 to 80 damage shot into him from the back of that wall in the shithouse. And that in itself weakens their demo so much. It's so, so, so good to do that. And as it is, literally just trying to find out where the demo hand stickies are. But he is just in trash. They're going to pop Uber here. You, you, you can tell, and there's the Uber pop. They're going to block it, and as a fact, demo and soldier launched up. I, Quinn was watching one side and I was watching the other and the soldier rinsed me. So that was a really, really poor push from us. I think we're just like um, going too hard off the spawn kills that we got, if you understand what I mean. So we were, I mean, say spawn kills. The mi kills we got on middle that gave us a player advantage that just respawned. We went because we like had a player advantage, a player advantage then, but by the time we'd actually got in Uber v Uber, we were so there. All six of them were there, and we were all out of position. So it really, really didn't work out in our favour. And now we're back on our own last. Um, I'm just literally trying to work out what's going on, where the players are coming from. So just there, I see a scout. They're going off spire. I just seen them. So now I'm just thinking, oh, can I get anything on Balk? Nope. Now I'm just going to change back. I've, I'm not 100% of whether our medic died. I VA did, didn't they? So I probably should have gone pyro. But actually, I think what happened, what went through my mind is the fact that. TCM have pushed in two two of their three rounds. They've got three rounds. No, two of their two, both of their rounds they've got from pushing in bottom left. So going pyro top right won't help very much. And now I think we're just trying to spot where they are. I think they're just trying to build Uber in top lobby or balcony. And yeah, if you see our demo man was watching left, just purely trying to find out where they were and do any damage they can. Oh, wow, that's got so lucky. So we're just trying to do a um, little bit of peak damage, trying to see what I can do. Um, because we've just lost a player, um, we shouldn't really have Ubered out there, but we did manage to hold last quite luckily. I don't really know what was going through our minds when we decided to Uber out. We're just such an aggressive team. We don't like sitting back ever. 
So if you are much more of a defensive team, I'd, I'd say don't watch our team's demos at all. But if you love just pushing no matter what as such, if we have six up, we will like pushing. So yeah, so that that was literally just a case of oh the demo man's launched in. I'm just gonna try and block him, and couldn't really do anything about it. So just keep yourself alive. Don't sacrifice yourself to the sticky spam that's gonna go up there. Just get yourself back. Your, your life here this, on defending last at this point is so much more useful. And I'm trying to get that sniper pick. I really need to stop doing. That. I have been saying really need to. I have started to stop doing that now, and it's just a case of trying to block the point now because they literally are all over it. I do get a couple of all right kills there at least it saves us a little bit and I actually think this is when uh, yeah this is a 1v1 at the moment Seb versus Bite who's the better demo man Seb gets the most luckiest bounce of his face around the corner of a sticky there and managed to save it and taunts of course got to but I don't know if you noticed that when he peeked around the corner the sticky bounced off his face and bounced around the corner so it didn't hit him at all so lucky so obviously the point is half capped We've only had one player left alive. Their spawners are all up. We we do not want to be pushing out at this point. We did trade medics, so we got equal uber. But we're just trying to work out what's going on. Trying to keep our eyes open. Try and watch out for a spy. Because just a decloaky spy on that point will cap it pretty easily at this point. So, I think we actually have a soldier on it. Do we? No, we just got some stickies on it. So, And they're in top lobby yet again. So, we're just literally just trying to stop them from pushing in non uber they seem to like pushing in non uber by the looks of it i don't think i don't think it worked for them when they pushed in with uber the last few times so excuse me so i'm actually quite low at this point i don't really want to come in the multi us so i actually get picked off pretty much because of not being able to get any health stuck behind the point so you should either try and get yourself in a slightly better position than that or just come and get the uber but I really hate getting the uber on it with our team because we have so all our heavies love getting it that if we multi even more it's just it just doesn't work so I think I go to, yeah I'm going defensive again this time so in fact I'm going quite aggressive on the demo man but then just fall back so I'm literally just trying to force him back trying to stop him getting any point presence and then I run into rollers but we do get some nice picks I, d I I don't really know why I decided to run up our ramp there and our team obviously when I'm down no one's watching our ramp and uh, the scout just runs up it and gets a nice couple of nice frags Mike going absolutely huge there though with those two rockets onto the scout and the demo getting some nice some nice picks and that is the middle our way and I actually think there's only about five minutes left in this game or something like that I'd, I don't know if I can find out can I I don't think I can in a, P in a POV so Oh, demo UI, of course I can. So yeah, there's uh, three minutes left at this point, and we're what three two down. So we've definitely got to be looking to be aggressive and take this round. So or else we obviously lose the map. So we're just slowly pushing forward. I take a little bit of damage. We're now Ubered. I was actually hoping to get buffed there instead, but we um, uh, just Uber in. In actual fact, by jumping behind, gets picked off by Mike and me. I that is always worth doing at that point. If you've already got your scout partner on the spire and your, the demo man is open to be killed, definitely go for him. Because, I mean, look at that. Look at it now. We're pushing into last and they've got no demo up. We're just dealing as much damage as we possibly can. There's the uber popped by them. And we're just taking our time, I think, at the moment. And just building our uber. We're going to have about a 30% advantage. But TCM are going to be wanting to push out. So we've got to wait for our spawners. Me and Quinn are just spawning now, I think. So we're just looking to go straight in. That pick on Penna by Mike absolutely brilliant means they're not going to push out anymore for certain we've got an uber advantage gonna have to see what happens god shouldn't shouldn't be that aggressive if you don't know where your team is and because i could have easily been picked off there and i wouldn't have been here for the next push because of it and now i'm just clearing out stickies in top lobby i actually know where the rest of them are they're in that little like windowsill ledge thing and we've actually ubered into last now so i'm going in try, trying to deal as much damage as possible deal some nice damage to the heavy fall out and get the little health back and then I just do some damage from top push in literally I'm so low now and it's uh, 2v3 but I know how low all of their team are so I'm just trying to do as much damage from up there and I want to pressure the meta uh, demo man you if the demo man's there he's just gonna be spamming stickies onto the point you've got to pressure him so really really nice link up work with flashy there knowing exactly what I was gonna do he went for the point and I just went for the demo man to stop him from spamming into us and that's three all 
absolutely amazing round from us really it shouldn't don't think it should have worked like that and there's a minute left so just this is the last cap on this for the last uh, middle for this map and unless it goes to golden cap of course so we're just which we, we actually go try and go really aggressive i think purely because or our soldiers go aggressive or was that that was the call purely because we do want to win and there we get the medic pick but so we've lost too many players now that we can't really take the rounds we do get some nice frags that mean that they can't as well so it's just a case of taking our time making sure they don't actually win this round and going to the golden cap is really what our aim is now after losing the middle obviously they don't have their medic so it's going to be tough for them coming in rolling in a minute and uh, we're so we're just going to stay on our last I think I go pyro or I go AFK <laughs> so I think I was just chatting to someone behind me and we were just deciding what to stay on last with and uh, look, just put a heavy 450 heavy on last I think they're GGing now so that's a very very good game I hope this has been actually a little bit of use to you so going back to this middle of course this is a golden cap this is a lot more on the line than just a simple um, just a simple normal round so we as a team I, yeah again I'm going to keep a, a, a saying are really aggressive so one of our soldiers jumps straight in now I'm just trying to stop their aggression we lose a player straight away that jumping soldier and but we do pick up some frags afterwards now it's just a case of trying to keep our players alive trying to get that scout kill is definitely something that I'm going to need to be doing because of the fact that I'm the only scout up and uh, scouts are so dangerous after the middle so it's what suddenly I'm I'm going to be wanting to look at look at is always the scouts after the middle after the main initiation of fights really uh, obviously jumping soldiers or demos out of position are also good things to keep going keep an eye on but uh, definitely trying to pick off the scouts there stop them getting that 185 buff and coming back in is really really useful so we actually golden cap just taking middle and spy I got an uber equal uber I think with their medic he didn't die and um, it's just a case now of just trying to work out our push into last which hasn't really worked out for the best for us so far we've actually just ubered in now me and Mike can't really come in because of the fact that the Uber's going, but we do get a good bit of teamwork there on that kill, but Mike goes in and dies. I don't know whether he got caught out by that soldier or thought he could keep going. Um, so it's just a case of players, equal players down pretty much at the moment. Now we've just lost another one, so we're going to have to play even more defensive. Just trying to help Flushy out. I did just jump up there. He by saw me. I was trying to get the ninja, and literally as he walked up, I think he saw my feet. Or oh, bite you what was going on. If I manage to ninja cap onto last, that would be awesome. Like Quinn is going for now, but he literally misses the first shot onto the soldier. The standing still soldier. So, we've now lost Spire. We don't have... I think we've got an uber disadvantage because Flashy hasn't been healing from what I can see. And we've also got player disadvantage. So, of course, they're just going to keep jumping in. I was literally there, just trying to slow them down, trying to stop the demo, just doing anything I could, really. If it got a bit out of position, then it would have been nice to get the kill. But obviously, main most important part there is keep yourself alive. And here comes the Uber in. But Seb, being Seb, way too aggressive, gets taken down. And that's our demo straight down without us just Ubering now. We do take down Skinny. That's one scout down. That's really, really useful. And I go for a back cap here, I think. Oh, no. Because they, they, they're falling back. I don't go for that back cap. They, it was a nice call for my team. So if you do ha have back in back cap intuitions just let them know let them say just tell your team I'm going to try a back cap which obviously I did there and then they said oh no they're falling back to you don't bother going for it definitely a good call for my team there I would have just been killed so now I just want to get get to my team and try and help them out but in actual fact they just come through choke while I was just pissing about on the flanks and not really doing anything and get absolutely rinsed by the player advantage because I wasn't there so now we're back on last and I've gone back sniper just trying to see what's going on but we actually need players to be able to do something rather than just a sniper in this situation because our players are down and there's the uber in and the scout has got managed to sneak in bottom left and get on the point but I do manage to keep him blocked until I die. Flushy uber saws one of them with 99% I think he was on and there was a demo standing behind him he could have just healed but oh well he, he wanted to be clutch with his uber saw and as it is we're kind of really really pinned back on our last point with only three players left up 
But we just got spawners now. We literally need to try and keep as many of our players alive and get frags. But that's not what I wanted to do. So poor. I shouldn't have gone for that soldier. I should have gone for one of the players up top. Up top left when I came out. We had players on the floor that could deal with him. And nobody was up top trying to deal with the players up there. So that was, it. That was literally my, my fault. Oh, I hate watching games like this when I don't play well. Uh. So, of course, this is still the golden cap, guys. It's still really, really tense. Lots and lots of noise coming from our team. And you've just got to try and keep your team motivated when you're in this situation, always. Um, especially at LAN. I'm a people that anybody that's been uh, and watched me play at LAN, I'm so loud when I'm when I'm just playing. I'm just so loud at anything our team does. And just uh, letting people know. Uh, letting people know how good we're playing. Just trying to keep motivation up no matter what. And this is the sort of situation you've got to be like that in. Especially when we were around down as well before. And now it's just a case of us trying to pick up, pick apart the players. And I think here Mike does a really good job. I knew he was going to do that, so I went in trying to help him. But we get the medic pick, but nobody's watching bottom left. Part, probably partly mine and um, Mike's fault there, I would say. Uh, for trying to be really aggressive top left, trying to get that kill as they came in. But we did have someone cool that they were watching bottom left, so... Because of that call, we thought we would be able to do that. So, always, always watch your flanks, guys. That's definitely the tip. And that's why I wanted to make sure we watch that golden cap. Because it's just such a poor way of losing a golden cap. Come on. You... Oh, so frustrating. So, that was actually CP Badlands from I-43 lower bracket final. We did lose CP Badlands there. 4-3 in golden cap. So, that's 1-0 down in the best of three. And I will be back shortly with the rest of the maps from that game so do stay tuned to my gaming edge thank you for joining me i've been greg see you soon